Hi, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. In this series of videos, we're looking at how to use Universal Audio's Luna software. And in this video, we're gonna look at how to create AU plugin icons. I don't know about you, but when you switch on Luna and you start to use AU plugins, your inserts and your send effects start to look a bit ugly. And I know this doesn't matter. If you use universal audio plugins inside of Luna in your inserts and your send effects, it comes up with a really nice representation of the plugin in the insert. So it's got like a picture of it. Now, if you've loaded up an AU plugin, you'll see that it comes up with this ugly, AU type graphic. And although it's functional, there's a great way of changing this. So for instance, if I click on Rvox here and I come over to this drop down menu, all I've got to do is to create plugin icon. Now watch what happens to my inserts. Now let's do the same to Fab Filters Pro C2. So come over to the drop down menu and create plugin icon. So I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I hope you guys got something out of that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.